His name is Mr. Dithers, and he has a breakdown van. If you're in trouble and need help, he'll help you if he can. He can scrub for you, and he'll rub for you, and I'll tell you something more. He can brush your cat, he can brush your mat, and he can brush the floor. If you have anything to mend, then please just send for him. Sometimes he'll make a mess of things, for he is dithery. But he'll never rest till he's done his best, and he'll help you all he can. Send for dithers, and you will always get the nicest help you man. I hope someone will telephone me soon and ask me to help them. It's no fun running a help you agency if no one needs your help. Oh, where did I put the telephone? It isn't there. No, there. I'm Mr. Biggs, the manager of Biggs Supermarket. This is Dithers of the Let Me Help You Agency. Can you deliver a parcel to one of my customers? Certainly. I'll come along at once. Miss Smith, have the parcel brought up here. Then Dithers can deliver it as soon as he arrives. I'll do that at once, sir. Dithers of the Help You Agency is at your service. I hope it's a good service. The very best. Mrs. Barker bought this parcel for her son, Johnny. I'd like you to deliver it immediately. It's a surprise for him. Hmm. A very big surprise. Can you manage? Oh, it, it, it's no trouble at all. If, if you could let me have the address... You'll find it on the parcel. Uh, be very careful with it. It must be delivered safely. Good heavens, a walking parcel. It isn't a walking parcel. It's me, Dither. Stop. You can't cross the road without being able to see the traffic. Who said that? I did. Who's I did? The surprise you're taking to Johnny Barker. I've never heard of a parcel that could talk. Well, you've heard of one now. Put me down and make sure the road is clear before you cross it. You'd better do as the parcel says. There. Always stop at the curb first. Then look right and left and right again. Yes, it's all clear to cross. So it is. Don't move. Now you've picked me up again, you can't see the road anymore. <laughs> dear, 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 you're quite right. Of course I'm right. If you can't see the road, it's clear you mustn't cross it. Oh, that, that parcel's talking sense. You'd better put it down again. I'll have to push it along the pavement until I get to the traffic lights. I'll be able to cross there. Oh. Oh. Stop it, I say. What's the matter? You're bumping me up and down. Don't worry. We've reached the traffic lights, and as soon as they're red, I'll cross the road. We're nearly at the other side. Mm, thank goodness. Now, I'd better have a look at the address and see where I must take you. It's not on here. It must be written on the other side. Eh, not there either. Nor there. I suppose it's underneath. Oh, I hope I didn't hurt you. You certainly did. I'm not only black and blue, I'm brown and green. Oh, oh, oh do hurry up and deliver me. Ah, Master Johnny Barker, 8 Elmwood Drive. That's just round the corner. It won't be long now. You'll soon be safely delivered. Good. It's a bit of a tight squeeze in here. What are you? Not what, if you don't mind, but who? Oh, well, who are you? It's none of your business. I'm surprised.
Here's the house we want. Oh! Oh, my poor aching bones. Oh, dear, the parcel's burst open. Are you still all right? Just about. Oh. Do come up and let me see you. Why, you're a penguin. A king penguin, if you don't mind. What's your name? Mr. Perkins. What's your name? Dithers. Well then, Dithers. Ring the doorbell and tell Johnny I'm here. Are you Master Johnny Barker? Yes. I've brought you a surprise present. There. But it's open. And it's not a surprise if I can see what's inside. Mummy! What's the matter, dear? <laughs> My surprise has arrived, but I can see what it is. All right, darling. I'll buy you something else. And I'll make sure you don't deliver it. I'm sorry, Mr. Perkins, but I'll have to take you back. I don't want to go back. I don't like sitting on the shelf in a shop. Oh, you buy me. I couldn't do that. I haven't enough money. Then earn some. Wouldn't you like me to live with you and be your best friend? I don't know. I've never had a best friend. What do best friends do? I'll tell you. If you have got one best friend to stay with you all day, you're lucky for you'll always have someone with whom to play. Throwing the ball, skipping with a rope. It doesn't matter what you do. It's much more fun when there are two. If you're playing by yourself cause you're the only one, there's no game that is the same for one, just is not fun. Riding a bike is what I like. Racing with my friends. And sometimes I won't pedal fast, so he can win at the end. Throwing a ball, skipping with a rope, it doesn't matter what you do. It's much more fun when there are two. If you're playing by yourself, cause you're the only one. There's no game that is the same for one, just is not fun. Riding a bike is what I like. Racing with my friends. And sometimes I won't pedal fast so he can win at the end. Sharing all my toys and games, your sweets and chocolates too. If you share your things with me, then I will share with you. Uh, of course. Uh, of course, I'll take back the penguin. Uh, oh, you know what to do. Come in and, and choose something else. Uh, goodbye. Oh, I'll never use dithers again. But just wait till I see him. Come in. So, you're back. I'm sorry about the parcel, but I tripped because of my scarf. Well, trip out of this room and don't come back. You can count yourself lucky I don't make you buy the penguin. That's exactly what Dithers wants to do. Oh. Buy the penguin? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? Because I haven't enough money. Then stop wasting my time. If you gave Dithers another job to do, he could earn enough money to buy me. Hmm. All right. My doorman has a bad cold and has gone home. You can take his place today. Thank you. You won't be sorry for giving me another chance. I hope not. <sighs> I've opened and closed these doors so many times, I'm tired as a worn-out broom. So am I. But you've done nothing. Mm. I'm tired. Watching you. Someone wants to go in. Open the door. I wish you wouldn't keep giving me orders. You're much too bossy. 
No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Oh! Oh, dear. It's Mrs. Barker. You stupid man. How dare you knock me over? It, it was an accident. I'm going to report you to Mr. Biggs. Flying fleas. That means I'll get the sack. And I won't have enough money to buy you. Scissors? Scissors? What do you mean by knocking over one of my customers? It was an accident, Mr. Biggs. You have too many accidents. Now get out of my sight. Please give him another chance. Otherwise, he won't be able to buy me. Oh, all right. You can clean all the windows. You should be able to do that without causing trouble. Oh, thank you, Mr. Biggs. I promise I'll be very careful. Phew. This is hard work. I've cleaned 473 panes of glass, and my arms are nearly dropping off. You're cleaning Mr. Biggs' window now. And that's the last one. Thank goodness for that. Don't forget to make it sparkle. I won't. The way to get those windows really clean is to wash with a hose. An excellent idea. Will you get one for me? Oh, I'm too tired. <laughs> I wonder how Dithers is getting on with the windows. What a lazy penguin. I hope he'll be better when he lives with me. Mine could do with a good clean. Cleaning Mr. Big's window with a hose pipe is an excellent idea. I'll just fix the hose to a water hydrant. Oh, what a lovely day it is. I'll open the window and breathe in some lovely fresh air. I'm nearly ready. How warm and sunny it is. Ah. Oh, lovely. Here we go. Oh, oh, stop it. Turn up the water. Good heavens. Oh, you stupid, ridiculous nitwit. It was an accident. Mr. Perkins and I wanted to get... Get out of my sight. What about the penguin? Take him with you. I don't want to see either of you again. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Biggs. Can I try you? No! No, get away from here. Both of you. Well, Dithers, now I belong to you. I hope I'll like it. Ah, of course you'll like it. I'll help you all the time, just the way I've helped you today. Yes, that's what I'm afraid of. 